What a moment in uh, Belmont Park for all racing fans and certainly for the man who was atop the beautiful, beautiful horse, American Pharaoh. He is Victor Espinosa here on the Rich Eisen Show. Good to thank see you, you, sir. Thank you, Rich. Thank you for having what do you me think? Oh, Thank you for coming. <laughs> and what do you think of when you see and hear that once again? Wow. I'm like, you know what? A little bit shocked and excited. I still get a goosebumps and when I watch the replay for the for the Belmont. Mm -hmm. Can't believe that happens. Incredible. What was it like? What is it like being on top of American Pharaoh and and riding that horse, that beautiful, beautiful animal? I feel like I am on top of the world when I ride American Pharaoh. It's just an amazing, an amazing horse. And and that's all it takes. A truly, truly champion to be able to like, mm -hmm. win the Triple Crown. Mm -hmm. Not easy. As you know, 30-something years. Mm -hmm. Been so close, but not close enough. And, and American Pharaoh, it's just unbelievable. But what sort of relationship do you have with the horse? What's your relationship? Um, not much. Uh, our relationship just uh, perform the best in the race. I, I, I never like really get on him or ride him into into the race, uh, mm -hmm. and 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 trying to figure out what he likes, uh, you know, in that moment. Mm -hmm. So it's not like. You know, I spend time or, you know, feed you don't, him. You know, you don't spend much time with no, the horse? No, no. Why? why? I mean... But I, I, there's other people that spend more time, mm -hmm. you know, a lot. Like, we have, you know, a lot of other people that can, they take care of that, mm -hmm. you know. Everybody has a different, uh, you know, a team. Basically, it's a whole team. But sure. they have the groom and the exercise rider and the, and the trainer and my job just to ride him. So, so I'm here with Victor Espinosa. So, American Pharaoh knows when you show up in the silks, it's go time. <laughs> yeah. Right? I don't know That's if he really, he... Yeah, exactly. I don't know if he really likes me or not, but <laughs> he knows. <laughs> That's it. He has time to run. <laughs> yeah, because why? Because you're the one with the crop? Is that what you're, in, you're saying? Or is that why he wouldn't like you? Or... Uh, no, I, I think as soon as he saw me with the silks, he knows. <laughs> it's time to go. It's time to go, yeah. Right. Now, um, so d the day of the race, do you think the horse understood that there was a, a history opportunity here? Because obviously, you know, did, did he at least know that this was the biggest race uh, of his life, do you think? I really don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. he's probably for the horse, it's probably just another race that he's gonna run. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, sure that, I'm assuming he doesn't know that there's it. This is the race of his life, you mm -hmm. know, it's for the Triple Crown. Um, only we know. Like right. I know, and all, all mm -hmm. the fans they know, but uh, I don't know about about American Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. He probably is just another race, and you know, get it over with. Right, and get it over with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in front of ninety thousand fans. <laughs> what right. is that sensation? What was that noise like, Victor? The noise of the fans when 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 you crossed that finish line and won it all. Well, that was kind of crazy because you know it, it was so loud. There was just a, an echo in there. You know, it's like it's like everybody is like on top, and I'm, I feel like I'm down. Below, there are like everybody is like yelling and screaming. Mm -hmm. It was just an echo for every all the the fans in there. Mm -hmm. There's just like not just here one person. It's just like echo in there. So what was the difference between um, other than the the winning between this horse and, and, and California Chrome, where you came close last year? Uh, it, it is a big difference. Uh, I think every horse there uh, there is in there, and I've been riding a lot of good horses, but. You know, between California Chrome and, and American Pharaoh, mm -hmm. there's two different levels. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, American Pharaoh, he's, he's different. Mm -hmm. He's above beyond mm -hmm. there are any other horse that I rode. There, uh, he's, he can take every pants in, in short period of time. And still, if you come out of there, the race is like, no big deal. Mm -hmm. The other ones, they, they, they kind of, um, last weight because it's such a long campaign and short period of time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of them don't take it that, that well. Like California Crown, he kind of last weight by the last race. And, you know, a lot of things went wrong with him and, and, and the last race. This one, doesn't matter. He just, you know, go forward. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm here with Victor Espinosa here on the Rich Eisen Show. So how did you get hooked up with American Pharaoh? How does the process work for a jockey of, of your stature to select a horse or be selected for a horse? How does that work? Well, uh, this is how it works. Uh, all the jockeys have an agent, and I have an agent mm -hmm. that his job is trying to find the best horse that is in there mm -hmm. uh, to be able to win. You know, sometimes, the, 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 like American Pharaoh, it just happens in the last minute. Mm -hmm. My last minute deal that um, 
you know, Buffer, he decided to put me on. Obviously, my, between my agent and Buffer, those mm -hmm. two, they decide what, you know, if I can write it. Mm -hmm. And then my uh, last decision, there was, my agent called me, he's like, Buffer has a horse, you want to ride it? It's like, sure. I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> I didn't even know there was American Pharaoh. <laughs> it just happens, like, okay, I'll ride it. So what was the first, what was your first impression when you first saw this horse, or first got on American Pharaoh? When I first got on and, and, uh, and, and I saw him, I look at him like, you know, before we got on, it's like, like from, from the ground, I look at him and I was not a big deal. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, this isn't just any other horse. But after I rode him the first time, I was like, wow, that's just something different. You know, I never rode a horse like American Pharaoh. It's completely different feeling, mm -hmm. and and so much power, and and it's just like unbelievable horse. You know, it's like wow, this is a real deal. And then you saw the name of the horse being spelled out, which and was then, wrong. And then you, but no, or and, <laughs> and then you called it American Feroa, right? <laughs> no. No, we all no? call it American Feral. We all call it. So I mean, <laughs> so if if somebody called the horse American Feroa. Uh -huh. You would say that's you would say what to that person? Well, I would say they kind of like the way you spell it is right, mm -hmm. but basically they spell it wrong. Mm -hmm. And and but when they spell it wrong, this name, then they can't change it now. Right. Uh, so now on they just call it American Pharaoh. But just calling it American Pharaoh, would you? You're too nice to say that person sounds like an idiot, right? <laughs> that's what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> this is a dream for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> that my my producer can you play it for us please right now uh, american feroa when he said that uh -huh. i thought to myself that can't be right <laughs> and yeah. the fact that yeah. that horse then went on for a run for the ages <laughs> for the record books and now here i am getting to talk to the man who rode that horse and ask this well, this is a dream for me right now victor this is great for me it is yeah thank you yeah, it's just an amazing thing, and and, mm -hmm. and, and, it, and after so many years, I still can't believe it, it just happens, you know? Mm. It's like, oh, you're talking about riding the horse, not that somebody would call it American for all, right? But, but. Okay. <laughs> 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 should, I tell him, should I tell him the name of the race that he won? Should I, should I tell him, the, should I go there? Regardless go there? of what I say, yeah. you're going to do it okay. anyway. Okay, this is the name of, did, I don't know if you're aware of the name of the, 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 the race that you won, Winning it all. Do you have that for me right now? Belmont Stanks. The Belmont Stanks. Are you aware that? that <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. The look on his face is that of shock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is just such a great moment for me and this show right now. I'm sorry that I'm utilizing valuable time of yours, Victor. No. <laughs> to scratch this itch that's just been phenomenal. <laughs> You know, it's fun. It's fun money. It's been really fun right here, so. Okay, good. Terrific. <laughs> and, and, so, and, and now that you know that you won American, uh, the Belmont Stanks atop American for all of <laughs> it's, it's that much better, right, don't you think? Yeah. It's a dream come true. <laughs> it is. Uh, it is. What, what next for you and this horse? What's the next step here, Victor? I believe he's going to run three more times for the year. Okay. Uh, it's two, two, two more times before the Breeders' Cup, and then the Breeders' Cup, and that's it. Okay. Great time. Have fun. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so fun. when's the next time, do you think? Do you, do you know that right now? No, nah, not sure. It could I'm be sure. sometime... Uh... Between a month or two. Okay. Yeah. And then get out there and, and do it there. again. Right? Yeah. Won't that be exciting? That's going to be incredible. It is. Uh, it's going to be very exciting for all the fans, too. Mm -hmm. You know, not mm -hmm. just for American Pharaoh and myself. I think for all the fans that are, like, really excited to see him run again. Mm -hmm. You know, it's never happened before. I don't think I ever see a Triple Crown before. 1978 is <laughs> the right? last time, and then you that got it. and you went ahead and did it, and yeah. um, and I can't wait to see you do it, do do uh, more great things atop this horse. Well, thank you. Huh? Uh, thank, thank you for coming in here. Hey, thank you for I having appreciate. me. Of course. Yeah, awesome. Oh, thank you, and congratulations yeah. on the Belmont Stanks, yeah. and uh, and then we have a lot of fun too. Yeah, we have a lot Correct of fun. Correct the names too. Do you? <laughs> by, by the way, do you have a? Are you? Do you have you? Do you recognize the bearded guy over there? Oh yeah, Victor. him. Oh yeah. I <laughs> ran into him a few times. I don't know who it was, but <laughs> <laughs> so, Victor, where have you where have you run into where have you run into that, that uh, hillbilly look hillbilly looking dude? Where have you run I into I ran into, into him in Vegas. I feel like he's stalking me. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'll take it. Uh, where, where have you guys met? We, uh, we have a mutual friend, uh, Rich Dimitri, and uh, mm. he's, he's been to our fantasy draft the last few years. That's right. Do you just out. go and just hang out at a fantasy football draft? Yeah, I just hang out. Hang out at the suite, you know? Oh, okay. I just, I mean, I'm just curious how the guys that do their other mm -hmm. gambling thing. Did you, well, I mean... Did 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 you have you learned anything from from Chris Law? Is the the fact that did you pick up any 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 vibes that that translated to a, a no. triple crown win? I'd like to feel I played a part. Hold on, in what hold on, this hold year. on. I, just a simple yes or no question. Did you pick up anything from him at all? No, I, I didn't even pay attention. I just go there for the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is so fantastic. I am yeah. loving all of this. What are you What are you writing down, Brockman? You you writing down that note? Yeah, I just go there for the snacks. That's, that's, that's my new favorite quote. Victor, congratulations <laughs> on you. on your 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 run into the record books. It was so exhilarating to watch. It captured the fancy of the entire world, and just it was. I was all out of my seat, just screaming at the television screen for you to go, and you did. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank Look you. Look forward to more. Thank you. That's a Victor Espinosa who learned nothing from Chris Law. <laughs> And, and now realizes he won the Belmont Stanks. And uh, look out. The sky's the limit. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.